long term at 32% at idle. Caused by a cracked air intake hose. If I try to uh, close the gap, we do see that the fuel trim tend, at least for the long term, tends to drop a bit. So as you can see there, drop to 29. 28, 27. So this vehicle will need a new uh, air intake hose. As you can see, I'm actually pinching it close, closing that gap. So never underestimate your visual inspection. Always try to do your, your visual inspections first before doing anything for example, doing a smoke test. All right, so the vehicle is gonna need a new intake air hose and that should pretty much fix the problem. If the customer does uh, confirm to go ahead and replace it, I'll show you guys the, the results. All right. All right guys, so the customer did confirm to go ahead and replace the uh, intake air hose. As you can see, that's the brand new one. That's the old one. This is a part number. Unfortunately, it's a doorman. It's a part number 696-093. It's a lifetime warranty. So as I was showing you guys earlier about the with the fuel trims, that there's actually a crack on the uh, air intake holes. There's actually multiple. There was one right here, and then the other one was down here, where it actually connects to the throttle body. As you can see, it's right there. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's right there. So there was actually multiple areas where this intake air hose was actually uh, leaking vacuum, which is causing that P0171. I got the scantory hooked on. It's with the Keon engine off. As you can see, it still shows 90% of long-term fuel trim with the Keon engine off. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the engine. All right guys, so with the vehicle at, at idle, it drops to 15%. The only reason that the, uh, the long term was a little bit high, or it was actually increasing, it was due to the fact that the, uh, the smog air pump was actually on. Right now it's at 12%. You see short term is going negative. So it's gonna to try to bring that long term back to normal range below plus or minus 10%. Perhaps 11%, 10%. That's pretty much a fix already. You see long term going back to normal. All right guys, so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Another quick tips regarding this P0171. Potential areas of uh, vacuum leaks would be your air intake hose. Another one will be your internal PCB valve, which lives, which is part of the uh, valve cover. When that PCB valve actually sticks open, it will create a, a an internal vacuum leak, which will also uh, cause a P0171. Another common area will be your uh, your perch valve, which lives right here. When that fails, that also can cause a P0171 or a P0172. System too rich or system too lean, depending on the condition, or any loose uh, vacuum hoses or crack hoses that uh, can also cause the P0171, and last but not least, a faulty intake manifold gasket. All right, guys. So hopefully this vehicle, uh, this video makes sense. It's uh, useful for anyone out there with that has a Chevy Cruze with the 1.8 liter engine. All right, all right, guys. So it's gonna be a, a little quick bonus video. It seems that we're not done yet with this 
2014 Chevy Cruze. So after actually taking the vehicle for a quick spin, I came back, I checked the fuel trim once again, and it seems that we have not fixed the problem by replacing the uh, faulty air intake hose. So I decided to go ahead and do a little quick check on the uh, perch valve to see if it was actually stuck open or if it was leaking vacuum. I already checked it and I have confirmed that we do have a faulty perch valve that's actually allowing vacuum to get past the valve. Let me go ahead and just show you guys a little quick tip here. Just to just disconnect the, the connector. Go back to your fuel trims. If your fuel trims start to go down almost to normal, that pretty much uh, it's an indication that your perch valve is faulty. So we met, so we went down to 11%. So depending how fast short term starts correcting, our long term should drop within spec of plus or minus 10%. Another quick check is to go ahead and disconnect it. Disconnect is uh, the hose that routes to your uh, EVAP canister. Put a vacuum gauge. And, and if you see that your perch valve is actually leaking, your needle should go into the vacuum side, which I'm going to show you guys real quick right now. So, so far we're at actually 9%. I'm me disconnecting the, uh, the connector to the perch valve. So let me go ahead and show you guys real quick with the vacuum gauge. All right guys, so with the uh, connector disconnected, the hose disconnected from the perch valve that goes to your EVAP canister. I've already connected my uh, vacuum gauge. As you can see, we have about 19 and a half inches of vacuum. That's pretty much a no-no. And that's the reason why we're actually getting that P0171 in addition with that faulty uh, air intake hose. So this vehicle pretty much has two prongs, faulty purge valve and a faulty air intake hose, which is right there. I'm not sure if the customer is gonna go ahead and replace this purge valve, I'm not sure. I have to call them, but I'm pretty sure that just by replacing the purge valve, our P0171 should be fixed completely. All right, guys. All right guys, so the customer did confirm uh, to go ahead and replace the perch valve as well. I've already replaced it. These are the fuel trims after taking the vehicle for a 15 minute drive. You see that our short term is fluctuating anywhere from plus or minus 5%, which is good. Long term, it's anywhere from 7% to 8.6, which is still under that 10%, which is good. So pretty much by replacing the perch valve, we have uh, pretty much fixed uh, the problem with that P0171. Let me show you guys real quick that there's no longer uh, no code stored for that P0171. The vehicle does have one code which is that P0420. There you go, P0420 is the only code. So we fixed the P0171 system to lean. All right, let me go ahead and also show you guys the, the part number for the first drive that I replaced it with, PV703. This is the old one here, which is a Bosch brand. This is an aftermarket one from Segurlas. There you go. 
So hopefully this video makes sense. It helps anyone out there. Truck with the P0171 on a Chevy Cruze. All right.